I know this is kind of upside down and everything, but for the purposes of this video right now, this is what we're going to do. And so, what you're seeing is my verbal setup here. This is how I normally lay it out on the desk. And I've got Elite Dangerous up. And I'm going to try to just use this for a little bit of variety of activities. Um, maybe a little combat, maybe uh, some mining. Uh, just general <clears throat> flowing around. Not sure what this video is going to look like just yet, but I'm going to try this for now and see how this goes. Uh, the idea about this whole thing is to... I, I want to do another video where I show, or maybe later on in this one if this doesn't get too long, how I have my buttons laid out on here. And so for right now, it's just going to be showing how this works, how I play the game with this setup. Uh, I'm going to use Elite Dangerous because that's the one I've used, I've played the most of. Um, I was looking at Infinity Battlescape, but pretty much nobody's playing that. And I have not given a whole lot of time to Star Citizen, so I can't really speak to that so well. <clears throat> so, anyway. We're at Ray Gateway, Ray's Garage. And let's see, what are we in today? Uh, actually not here. Oops. Is it that? We are at Ray's Gateway and what am I in today? Ah, God, not that. Outfitting. That's what I want. I am in my mint chocolate ship. This has got combat. What are we running here? A bunch of multi cannons. So let's go kill something here. So, first thing we need to do is get up on deck and launch. You notice my throttle. I don't know if you can tell from the... It's not forward. It's not backward. It is in the middle. There is an in detent in there that tells you when you're in the middle. Um, these sticks kind of move independently since they're just locked in place. So, if I unlock it, move this stick independently. Which is cool and all, but I don't know. So, first thing we need to do is go up a little bit. So I have one of the stick buttons up here for up, down, left, and right. Uh, this is more what I use just for inside the station here. Uh, landing gear button. And then we need to turn on the Z. I did not get the stick that twists, which I kind of regret. Um, so I have to use this button off to the side here. <clears throat> there is an option in Elite somewhere. Um, I think it's flight rotation, maybe. Yaw into roll, I believe. So, I think this is what I turned on. Basically, you use this if you don't have the Z control, from what I understand. And I had to actually dig in and figure out how to make that work here. Um, it's not bad. The problem is if you hit it too hard, you start turning. Where if you just want to go left to right, you have to gently turn the stick. But if you want to really roll, you have to turn over. So you notice that I go hard into it, I turn. But if I just go a little bit, it, I'm not sure I like that functionality. Uh, might be might be getting a new stick for this type of thing. Because space games without the twist is just kind of not fun. I know you can get the pedals, and I don't know that I want... You know, investing in pedals is pretty much the same as investing in a whole other stick. So, why get something that you're not necessarily interested in? Um, I don't know. I haven't tried pedals, so I don't know. I can't tell you. Um, let's see here. Boost is middle finger button on the stick here. Or on the throttle. And it's kind of out of picture, I guess. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> so we're going to buzz around here. 
I mean, it's flying with this isn't terrible. I definitely, the roll into yaw and all that makes it work um, fairly well. You go to camera mode here. Uh, let's see here. Is it this button? Yeah. So we can go flying around to the camera mode. Uh, I still use the keyboard for all this. There's my mint chocolate ship. Anyway, we want to go kill something, right? So you notice how easy it is to stop. I just pull back on the throttle. If I want to go in reverse, I just pull backwards. If I want to stop again, I go there. Hit that for boost. Boom. Dump it all into engines. I still use my keyboard for this. I think I could put the pips on, on um, the stick somewhere, but I, I don't know. The way I've got this set up, if I want to go navigate around, I use this thumb button here, and this one moves the tabs, and then this one moves inside the tabs. So there's three thumb buttons taken up just navigating the menu system here. Um, now I've got another one for targeting and things like that, but we'll buzz out to the nav beacon here. Fire off. Put the frame shift drive. There's a button up front here. Push down on it for that. Push pull up on it for the uh, hyperdrive. And if I want to switch modes, there's this button up top here. Switch into cannon combat mode or analysis mode. Uh, let's see. While I'm up in here, I can. Well, no, I can't. So I put collector limpets on this. Actually, here, this switch is between the different modes. So, all right, on the thumb button up here, I cycle down between the different weapon types. And this one's got the scanner, so I can do my normal scanning of the system. Wake scanning, I believe, is this button here, which I don't have a wake on. I do not use this. I do not use this here, and I do not use this trigger at all. Um, there's a lot of buttons on here that I don't use, too. Most of this I don't use, all these switches. Um, it all looks cool. I just can't figure out how to make it work. So there's... It, it's not like, an, like you're thinking on-off, on-off, light switch type of thing. But it's more of this mode or that mode. So you have to be able to switch modes... And I haven't found any that really work to what I want. I thought about using this for self-destruct, but <laughs> that's too dangerous to have there. And I mean, even this for self-destruct would be kind of cool, I guess. But I just haven't found a use for any of these yet uh, for the game style that I have or the play style that I have. So all right, we're going to buzz past because I'm yam yammering too much. But that's cool. Alright, there we go. Now, we've got a bunch of ships around, so we push up on this. Oop, nope, that switches between. Let's see, which one? Ah, this button. That, I use this pinky button down here for selecting targets. And you look away. So, I mean, it's not terrible to fly without the, um... Oh, is this somebody going to attack me? Oh, oh, your security. I can't attack you. Alright. Let's see what we got here. And when we get in here, we... Oh, nope, that's the wrong button. That button. Now we get the cannons out. Oh, here's somebody wanted. And we just light them up. Bye bye. And that's that. So we're done with our run. We need to come back, put the guns up. Go back into. Let's see. I don't want 
the nav beacon. I want Ray's gateway. We're gonna select that. We're gonna spin ourselves around, fire up the frame shift. And there we go. So that's it. That is combat for me. That's what my combat looks like playing this. Um, I do use the keyboard for the pips, but that's because I don't know where I would put it on there. I've got this button down here I think maybe I could use. I don't think I use that for anything. but. There's so much going on for me in combat. I typically either go, you know, all systems, all engines, all weapons, something like that, or mostly one or the other. So flopping around different settings doesn't really affect me all that much. And I don't use flight assist off. I know some people do. I'm not that great of a pilot at all. Um, no problems accepting that. Okay, so once we're in, you do the obligatory slam on the gas, switch over to contacts, go to request docking, hopefully we're in that range, hit the landing gear. Now this is where the Z thing really comes for me. Um, trying to align to these things is kind of a pain. Trying to keep it aligned is a bit of a headache. Oh, come in all jacked up. Yeah, that's how we land. It's not a good landing unless you're crashing into something. Landing gear's out. Spin this around. Now we plop straight down. Two, 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 two. Ooh, too much, too much, too much. Yeah. Yep. My bad, man. My bad. I get impatient. I want to land. So, you'll have that. The thing that's always awkward about this ship is you have to be way further forward than I ever think you need to be. Fortunately, they have a forgiving landing sequence. Okay, so. We are going to go to Starport Services. So as you can kind of tell, the way I run Elite is with pretty much everything. I use the mouse, the HOTUS, and the keyboard all at the same time. Um, that's for a different thing here. So let me get everything fixed up, get my shiny paint job fixed up. Okay, the next thing I think we'll take out is... Let's grab my other anaconda here. Oops, I don't want to purchase one. I want to grab my... Now, these were all bought with the proceeds from my trip across the galaxy to Beagle Point. And if you're wondering where Beagle Point is, you are here. Beagle Point is way over there. That's why it takes four months to get there. Uh, or three months or whatever basically go on a couple hours each week and they put this station up at Sagittarius A so that is great because you can buzz down there this way take a long hike out there and then a really long hike from there and back and then you can self-destruct here and come back here um, if you're in a cheap enough ship you don't want to self-destruct in something like this that would not be good so anyway uh, this ship is an exploration style ship it has you know what it's better to go in here this is King Tut yeah great name no hard points nothing there uh, wait 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 I do have a hard point pulse laser uh, apparently there's some things that you can do with the Thargoids and whatever by shooting something. So I have a pulse laser just to kick off the festivities. 
I don't believe there's any utility mounts here. Uh, I did start some engineering. I've got a fully engineered frame shift drive. Uh, thrusters are somewhat engineered. I don't remember how big they are. Small power plant. Keep the weight down. Uh, we are at a... Do, 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 do. Where is... 65 light year jump range. So this is slightly better than my Asp Explorer for jump range. Not that you care. But that's where it is. So, let us cut a path out here. And let's see. Where can we go? What's something kind of cute to go visit? Um, I guess it doesn't matter. So, we shall... Oh, I believe it's this button to go up and down. And then this button to move around. So, this is like a shift button here. Um... Yeah, I went out to visit Polaris. Can't get there. It's permit locked. So we'll go to this one. All right. Which is going to be... Let's see here. Five jumps. All right. So we'll go to launch. This ship is basically all geared around exploration. I've heard you can get like an 80 light year jump out of it. If I ever do... Um, Beagle Point again, I'm taking this thing. This is nice. This is a Cadillac ship here. Uh, that's why I called it King Tut and made it gold. Oops, not that button. That button. Let's fly dangerously, huh? Yeah. bad boy out here. Uh, okay. eh, nothing spectacular. Just a little gold paint job. I do like the Anaconda. Uh, like I said before, this is one of the ships that I bought with all my proceeds from flying to Beagle Point. So... Now to go into frame shift drive, you push down on this button here to go into this mode, you push up. Probably get caught by the station mass lock here in a minute. Yep. All right. Went with the white thrusters on this one. Uh, I want to say the thrusters are engineered on this too, so I have pretty good thrust on this thing to move around. I think. Oop, not that. that. Now we're going to transport. So, this is where some of the other buttons come into play. They've changed the way you do scanning. Um, I don't remember what things used to be like. In fact, I think I was only on on the PC side. I played this a lot on the PS4 side, but on the PC side, I was only on for a few days or a week before they switched to the different scanning mode. And this new scanning mode is completely different than what it used to be, so I, I don't even remember what it is. All right, we come into the system. We need to switch modes, scan the system. We're going to fuel scoop, drop that throttle back a little bit. All right, 25 bodies. So we're going to come out of here, get outside the heat range. Typically what I do is I come up to point to the next spot. So I'm ready to go. Drop the throttle. And that would be this button. Not this button. That would be this button to do scanning, which is already scanned. Uh, I must have already been here. So anyway, you can see that I move around with this, and then I actually use this knob here. You'll see that moving on the side there in the middle. That's how I turn, adjust this, this is old school TV style. And then I push this over here to go in, and then this to come out. These are my dialogue um, 
accept and decline buttons, but I've actually configured them for this to go to zoom in and out. So we'll back out of this. Okay. Uh, so we're in here. We slow down. We go into our scan mode. All right, here we go. So we come down here. Zoom in, zoom out. Zoom in, zoom out. Zoom in, zoom out. I mean, that's pretty basic, right? I do like the immersion that you get from having this uh, adjustment knob. It, it feels like it's... This really makes it feel like you're in a ship, you know? And you're and you're scanning around and stuff. I, I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. But that is pretty much that. That is scanning in a nutshell. There's a detent in the middle, so you know exactly where the middle is. I don't believe I use this one. No, I don't. Uh, and the detent in the middle is actually kind of nice. If you put it... Ooh, let's see. If you put the detent in the middle... Where does it say that? Somewhere it says... Okay. Down in... Let's see here... Let me change to here. So down in the lower right, you'll see where it says Rocky Ice Worlds. If I move it just to the right of the center tick, it switches over to Earth-like Worlds. So the nice thing is... Um, if I have this on the detent... Anything to the left, anything down in this range here, is the lower cost worlds to scan. Anything to the right, all the way up to somewhere in this neighborhood here, once you get into gas giants, there's water worlds, those are good. Uh, from here to here is the, the big expensive stuff. So if you start seeing those there, um, you can buzz into the system, scan it, you can come in here, and if you have this detent set, or if you reset your knob to the detent every time you can just see automatically there's nothing on the right and i know you can just look at the little blips on the mark and all that good stuff but at least with the detent you have a really good indication that there's nothing there to go look at um so for what it's worth i found that to be a nice little benefit um well, i got some bounties i gotta go collect okay so we're gonna go back to raise gateway and in here we go down to ooh, Diagwandry. I forgot. That is. Do, 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 do. Diagwandry, plot route. We're going to go back because we've already done this. Burr, 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 burr. Start the frame shift as we spin around and bam. We'll be back in no time. So, anyway. That's this. Um, mining wise, I don't remember if I know how to mine or not. I've done very little mining in this game. Like, my big billion dollar, billion credit haul came from exploration, going to Beagle Point and back. Um, I do love me a good dual star. I wonder if that's close enough to thread the needle. Make it interesting. Uh, to do to do to do. I bet we could. Close are these together? Eh, not terribly close. Might be fun. Ah, you know when you've got I don't know three or four hundred jumps you have to do, you kind of get bored sometimes. So you go find stupid things to do, and you know when you're a few hundred jumps from home and you're hauling millions of credits of scan data. The best thing to do is to go do something stupid, right? That's what I thought. Yeah. So 
We're gonna come around on this. And we're gonna go thread that needle. This one isn't as impressive. There's closer, scarier ones. Never gets old. You know what? Give me that. We're going to do a planetary landing. I forgot about that. And I could do an SRV travel. A little bit of SRV in. Now is where the night vision and the flashlight comes in. Again, everything I do is pretty much revolving around mostly exploration, so that's why I have all the stuff that I set up this particular way. Um, let me move that over a little bit, actually. We're going to come around. Thankfully, this isn't doesn't look like it's a high G planet. Okay, so. Let's see here. This button, landing gear, and then we just drop down. it's probably better to just auger down if you get into a high G planet you can basically just not even thrust down you just point forward and you fall um, that's the only bad thing about having an anaconda this thing's a beast of a ship so landing on a high G planet with a 400 million dollar credit insurance cost is or however much the insurance it's ridiculous on these things uh, but anyway, oops, come on. Let's see here, get you pulled up. Nudge this bad boy down. Boom. And we're done. So, the fighter would be the same way. We want to go into down here. We want to go grab an SRV, deploy. Load in. And boom. Here we are. Yeah, we're good on low gravity. Cool. Same controls, pretty much. Uh, oops. Switch cockpit mode to pew pew. And switch this for scan mode and let's see what else do we have drive around forward backward um, thrusters to go up takeoff is pretty simple you push up spool up the engines Come up a little bit, hit the landing gear, jam forward, hit that gas, and go. And that should just about do it. I could switch over to... Let's see here. Mr. Beefy. Tons of fun. Yeah, that one's tough. That thing is hard to haul. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that, too. Midnight Meat Train. This is my... Let's see. Collector Limpets. This is my mining. But what you've seen for combat and everything is pretty much what I do with this. It's the same buttons. I just have them different roles. You know, instead of shooting with this one, you're shooting out the mining stuff. I mean, it's not that great of a change. Um, but that is my HOTUS in a nutshell.